Oh, I get asked a lot of questions about what gear I use, ropes and fishing gear setups, fishing setups. So I'm just going to do a video showing um, all the gear I use. So first up, I will do my combos and then lures, plackies and a bit of miscellaneous gear. Um, there'll be then after that if you want to skip to it I'll check the time up on the screen now I'll do my ropes and safety gear and all that stuff and then after that I'll check the time up for this one I'll just do the camping setup and all that sort of stuff so anyway I'll kick it off with my main combo this is the main guy that I use um, JC Customs PE six to eight nine foot long it's um yeah jc custom so it's a cts gt fight blank and i match that up with a stellar 20k running 80 pound tas line to normally a 170 um 170 varibus fg on and occasionally Occasionally go the 200 and lengthwise I normally prefer to careful with my rod there uh, have the FG knot just not quite on the spool for casting is preferred but if I'm just getting smoked by say a whole bunch of kingies roll up or something or I'm chasing a really big groper then I might lengthen the leader just to um, help myself out a bit. Next up is just a um, Diver Sea Jigger. I've probably had this for about five, six years. It's the heavy one, which is um, like probably PE two to four, something like that. It's, it says um, seven to 15 kilo. And I just have got a um, Ken Clash 6000, so it's a cheap combo, but it does the job. That's running um, 50 pound TAS line to normally like 80 or 100 pound litre. Got a um, busted fishing pole gaff, three piece, so I think they're seven foot lengths. That makes sense. Three times seven, 21 foot. That guy there, you can also put a net on it. Um, I have tried it, but all the barnacles down here makes that really difficult. Probably suit a different ledge a bit better. Um, cliff gapping. Got this guy here. Stainless steel. This wasn't stainless, it's all started rusting, so I've just repainted it. But that comes in handy for higher ledges or sometimes gapping solo might be a bit easier with this, I think. I don't know, I've guessed gap solo with both before. Either way, it's a pain. That is what I normally use. Three ounce um, TT lures, jig head, three ounce jig head. That's the norm. Um, I have used lots of different types. They all are much of a muchness. They're all pretty good. They will bend when you get something really big and you put a lot of strain on the heavy gear. I've also been throwing this a bit. That's another TT lures one, four ounce. Super heavy duty. It's pretty expensive, but um, it won't bend. I haven't bent one yet. I don't think I could bend one on PE8. So if something really big shows up, I'll throw that on. Or if it's really deep water, I'll go that. This is probably my favorite. The Streaks XL in blue catches heaps of things. Also, like these in pink or just pearl. Then I've got some McPaddles, different colours. That's caught me a Dewey. I've also done well on them in blue. And a couple of Brawler Bait um, Fat Boy Swims. They're caught. I've caught a couple of good fish on them, a couple of Groper and different stuff. Uh, normally chuck on some scent, not always, but I reckon it helps. 
I used to use S Factor, but I've run out and I'm trying that at the moment. Oh, yeah, and those guys there done well with them as well. A couple of juries and been trying these recently and caught a couple of good fish on these. You would have seen a few photos probably, sliders. So, yeah. I, um, I don't bother with tackle boxes because they're a pain in the backside when you're packing your backpack and you've got to cram as much as you can in. So I normally go, this guy here is handy, especially on a cliff because you can flip it on. Got a couple of stick boats in there and a couple of jigs in there. Bit of terminal tackle. I normally throw a jig heads and plackies in there. First up, PFD, obviously, and I always carry a little EPIRB with me, or pretty much always, especially when I'm going remote, which is most of the time. Um, that's 100 metres of 9mm static rope. I normally don't take a whole 100 metres because that's, that's around 5 kilos, so I normally go 50 meters and occasionally only 20. I've got different lengths cut up. I've got rope, lots of rope everywhere. Standard rock climbing harness. Been rock climbing for about a decade, so I already had all this gear. Um, use black diamond cams. I'm not going to show you how to use them because uh, if you're learning from this video how to use it, then that's probably not a good idea. Um, and I use a Grigri, that's like my abseiling device, auto locking, so keeps me a bit hands free. Um, so yeah, I just plug two or three bits of these in and use an equalising knot and that's my setup to abseil in or to fish somewhere that's too dangerous to fish without a row. Alright, I'll do camping gear now. Or hiking gear. So I've got this guy here. It's a big haul bag. It's not the most comfortable thing to hike with, but when I'm going somewhere that I've got to abseil in a long way, it comes in handy because I can just drag it up afterwards without destroying this because it's purposely built for hauling up cliffs. Um, so I use that a fair bit. That's I only bought that this year. This one here is a Mac pack, Mac pack backpack. I think it's like 80 liters, something like that. I've had that for over a decade. As you can see, it's pretty thrashed. I've taken it everywhere, taken it mount, well, not mountaineering, but a lot of hiking trips. Sleeping wise, normally when I'm going with Dane, we've been using a. Um, a Bibler eye tent, it's called. It's very expensive, but I bought it really cheap about yeah, about 10 years ago, um, second hand. So it's it's overkill. It's like a mountaineering tent. But because I have it, I use it. James just recently bought himself a bivy bag. So, which you might not know what that is, but if you Google it, you'll figure that out. Or you might see it in the next video. We're going camping um, in a couple of days, camping, fishing. So, because he's got that, I'm going to take this guy here. It is a MSR Hubber, I think it's called. It's a little single man tent. It's, um, I've had that again for like 10 years. It's not waterproof anymore, so I probably need to fix that up. But I think we've got good weather, so I'm going to risk it. Uh, that is like 1.2 kilos. Sleeping bag, super lightweight. Um, this is MS uh, Western Mountaineering. I forget which one this one is, but it's it's just under a kilo. It's like 800 grams, and it's rated to minus five minus ten so more than adequate you don't want to know how much that is that's stupid expensive 
but very nice. And my old Thermarest died, so I've recently changed to this guy as a mattress, Cedar Summit Comfort Light. Um, I think it's 400 grams. Can't remember, but it's really good. I'm impressed. So handy little mattress. Um, that's almost everything. A little something extra. Plus my little tripod for the GoPro with that so I can set it up anywhere without fear of losing it and I normally take yeah, a couple of spare batteries, a little battery pack you know, a couple of extra SD cards and that's that alright, cheers we are, we being myself and Dana going fishing this weekend coming up so I don't know if this video will be out before then I might drop it in a couple of days just before the weekend and then hopefully we will um, have a good trip and there will be another fishing video coming out soon. Cheers!